everyone. I look a little crazy. Um, this might be the start of the vlog where we move out of the RV. Maybe. Maybe. Well, if you posted this because we did. Yeah. So. so if you're watching this, we are probably no longer RV living. Um, today is June 23rd and we are on our way to go look at some housing which is military base housing but this military base housing is not on base it's off base um, in another city a city close by to the base obviously um, but yeah it all started with us full-time RV living in 2018 and we always said that if our kid or kids ever asked to move out of the RV that we would do that because we didn't grow up in RVs and we wouldn't want to force our kids to if they weren't up for it so Sophie was a year and a half when we got the RV right yeah a year and a half when we got the RV she's always loved it Sophie have you always loved the RV When you were smaller, put your chest clip up. There you go. When you were smaller, did you like living in the RV? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what about now? Well, I my dad always asks me if I if I wanted a house, and I would, and I would say no. You didn't want a house, but do you want a house right now? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I definitely think because of us going over to her friend's house and stuff, she sees houses and is more, um, to come on in. Oh, to the house. Jelly drive. Totally forgot we're stopping by somewhere before heading over there. But anyways, I think since we has friends and she's gone to, um, play dates and stuff, she sees houses, so she's more curious about houses and then she asked us about a house and why we live in an RV and not a house and we just plain straight up asked her if she wanted a house she said yes and she's been asking our friends without us knowing um, how they got a house and stuff so she's definitely curious um, so anyways um, yeah so that's one of the motivations or one of the reasons why we are um, Move, looking into moving out of the RV. I posted our RV for sale um, like out of the blue on Facebook and everyone was like so shook and confused and yeah anyways back to the reasons why so Sophie is one of them one of the reasons she wants a house so that's number one. Stella's still too little doesn't understand so she has no idea what's going on but uh, reason number two and I think that's we only have those two reasons is that both Jonathan and I have our businesses um, Jonathan is still in the process of opening his um, for orders because we are in the process of moving out of the RV possibly so that's why he hasn't opened for orders just yet but um, yeah I've been working out of my RV out of my little tiny office these past this past year and I, a bigger space would definitely help out. What is it? Honestly, has worked out. Like I haven't struggled or anything, but just the thought of having like a whole office is freaking amazing to me because I would have a lot more space. I feel to be more creative. Um. So yeah, and then Jonathan, he would have a whole garage to do his woodworks. So that's what his upcoming business is, woodworks. Um, at this point, he might be open. I don't know by the time this vlog is up. But anyways, that is where we're heading to right now. Bugo, how do you feel? Um, well, just like anybody would feel renting, kind of. Renting? Yeah. Oh, renting. I think they said renting. No, renting. Like, like why you mad? Yeah, um, that is one of the uh what is it downfalls of military housing is that you are renting it's never gonna be yours and that's one of the reasons why we never well not 
never lived on base and go for it we never lived on base because there was just a lot of mold issues and stuff um, and we just didn't want to live on base it was cheaper to live off base so that's what we did for a while and then obviously we ended up with the RV because we were tired of paying for rent because the apartment or the townhouse were never gonna be ours and that's just not what we wanted but we also did not want to buy in Mississippi so and that's why we got the RV. We also knew that we were going to be PCSing in a couple years. And so we PCSed here, which if you guys don't know what PCS is, it is... Uh, permanent change of station. Yeah, PCS is permanent change of station, which means that right. we were sent... I don't know. I think that's what it means. Anyways, eight years in the Navy later, we still don't know military terms. I'm just kidding. Um... So we did move from Mississippi to California in our RV, in our house. So we got to cook in our RV, we got to sleep in our RV, in our house. And it was during COVID, so it worked out pretty freaking great because that is one of the reasons we were able to move. A lot of people were put on hold and were not able to move because of COVID. But since we were not staying in hotels or anything like that, we were able to move. So. Moving here was amazing in our house and now that we've come to this, we don't want to rent but it is what it is and so if we move into the military housing, Mommy. that's what we're going to do, yes? And so as for the RV, we did post it for sale, we did get some inquiries or inquiries, whatever the heck it is pronounced, Inquiries. however it's pronounced. Inquiries. Starting route to housing. Um, so yeah, it is posted for sale. Uh, we did renovate the whole thing. It is completely renovated. It's painted, 100% painted. The restroom is completely renovated. New fixtures. Very, very renovated. So, um, yeah. I think that's it. Alright, we'll see you guys at the military housing. Sophie, where are we at? Go, go. This is nice. <laughs> go. This is just a show house. This is what it would look like. Oh, look at the restroom. <laughs> Why is she so shocked at a restroom? Oh, look at the restroom! Oh shoot, we don't have a washer dryer. Lol. Mom. Yeah. Mom. Monday. This looks like Emmy's house. It does. Our stools. We're gonna have to start from zero again. I mean, we're gonna keep some stuff from the RV, like our mattress, Stella's mattress. So he's gonna get a new mattress. Yeah. Yeah. Probably like a twin size. Yeah, look, there's a garage. We used to have a washer dryer, but we sold it to move into the RV. So, starting from zero ish again. Pretty big kitchen. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't see myself in a house again, but. That's gonna be us. Stelly's super sick, you guys. Stelly's cheating. Here's Does that mean we have to get a propane? A propane? Or a, a dryer? No, we have an option. We can just do the electric one. Why would we use propane? Um. Right? Monkey! Wow! We need to buy stuff for this. For this house. Where's this, Stelly? Mira! In your room? Vente! She's like, what? <gasps> Whoa! First of all. <laughs> hey, Ben! Look, look, go, Daddy, go, go. Corre, corre. Wait, is that just that? Damn! Wow, go, Daddy, go! No? Got a rope! Yes, 
So this one that we're touring is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. And Sophie, what do you think of this house? It's so cool. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's so like big. five times the size it's of so our big. RV. <laughs> Hi, mama. It's so big. So technically, obviously this is not the house we're going to live in, but there's like a master. One would be the girls and one would be my office. In this case, this one is the smallest um, room. And oh my gosh, the fact that I have a whole room and there's a closet. And I already pictured like cups being stored there. <laughs> Shirts. I'd be able to have stuff in stock, which is what is exciting. I currently don't have a lot of stuff in stock. Bye. You want me to close it? Bye. Oh. It's gonna be dark in there. We close Bye. it. Bye. Peekaboo. It's so dark in there. Um, I currently don't have a lot of in stock items because I go purchase as I need them. Ah, uh -uh, careful. Um, so yeah, the fact that I'd be able to have stuff in stock would be very helpful. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You had all this space, huh? Monkey. Say monkey. Monkey Bye, monkey. There's this. Maybe this is where I would start off <laughs> with a desk or something. Like. I won't have a desk. True. The one I have right now is literally built into the closet. Mm -hmm. Hello! Monkey! I think she likes the monkeys. Sophie, how do you feel? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I think she's happy. She's happy, happy. Sometimes. What time's already? It's gonna be dark, but. This is my room. Here's my room. Super kind. But super kind. So yeah. And it's pretty fun. What I wanted to show you guys was so matter like so matter and so like it just didn't go, but then it was going like so go. And after we showed you all that, it was gone and gone and gone and gone. And so, I'll take you back to the city and bye bye. I'll see you back for tomorrow. All right, guys, it is currently 7.55, same day, and Jonathan is about to... We're about to attach the file that has all the forms that were required by our housing. It was actually 25,000 papers. Thank you. Um, Sorry, guys. Amounting to two <laughs> yeah, and a half gigs. Sorry, baby, you just sneeze. Um, oh, bummer, and I have to do it one by one. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, Jonathan is about to turn in the application for the housing. Uh, hello. 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 What did you think about the house today? It's so cool. Yeah? Yeah, there's like a baby restroom. Um, what do you think about leaving the RV and moving into a house and no longer having the RV? What do you think about that? Good. Good? Yeah. You're not going to miss the RV? I, a little I don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it? Yes. My sister got a, bre a pregnant piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all letting you know that I did receive a housing application. And I was just wondering when you and your family were needing housing. Um, as soon as possible, uh, we, we're ready okay. to move in. I mean, we'll to receive an offer no later than the end of this week, probably within the next like most likely also to be to you um, before close of business tomorrow. And on there, it's going to have the address, bedrooms, bathrooms, and then when the house will be available. Okay. Okay, okay. okay goodbye. Goodbye. Mm, the end of the week?
Don't just start it with his mom because it says 956. 956 is our area code. Area code. Oh my, that's gonna be so easy. Is that the address? That's the address. 956B. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's already been said always, whatever. We would like to offer you a three bedroom, two and a half bed home. And this home will be available July 12th. All right, guys. Well, as you guys saw, we did get a call yesterday. So today I'm about to start putting stuff into boxes, starting with little things like this that we don't use every day. We do still have about a week and a half until we move in so i'm gonna start taking down stuff but i just wanted to show you guys and obviously to have this to look back on um like my favorite parts of the rv so this is one of them because i got to decorate this little spot um those little planters are super cute and my friend gave them to me i'm excited to find a place for them um in the house and then this is one of the things I'm obsessed with. It's our little setup here in the table. I just thought it was super cute, super cozy. Um, yeah, that's what that looks like. I'm pretty sure I'm going to set it up, up like this. But, you know, just the vibe. Here's our table. My coffee. I'm drinking coffee right now. Um, this wall right here is my absolute favorite spot of this entire RV renovation. Because here there was a huge cabinet. We took it off and... I got to decorate a wall at least and so yeah this is one of my favorite favorite parts of the RV here we have food basket and so yeah all of this is going down so just wanted to vlog that real quick <laughs> Sophie how do you feel <laughs> Sophie's outside and inside and outside and inside well yeah I'm gonna start putting stuff away are you gonna help me yeah pack yeah, yeah we gotta Say yeah! How do you feel, Stella? You're gonna be in a house. All right, guys. So Jonathan just took off the wood that was up there. So, oh my! God. That was very unfortunate. But Jonathan's taken care of, and now I messed up my fingers, so I'm about to get a band-aid too. But anyways, Jonathan took off the wood pieces that we had placed there and there, which was the projector screen, and the other side was a projector. Um, stand so we have put pieces of wood and obviously painted over them so we're taking everything off the walls filling all the holes and painting so that the new owners potentially um, are gonna have a nice clean start so Mommy. yeah that wall is full of holes too we're gonna fill and sand all of it and paint all of it and I'm about to start the girls room it looks so different out here I'm about to take the girl stuff down from their room and it's gonna look so empty but, but I mean it's gonna look so empty inside yeah. and I'm not able to play anymore you can still play silly goose no I'm not gonna play anymore here oh not here anymore no. but are you excited about a house yeah all right onto our room this is like the main decor that I have so I'm about to take these off and over here we have these but we have these on hooks so those should be easy to come off. Here we have Sophie. Sophie, what are you doing? I'm trying to spell box. Look, it has one, two, three. How do you spell box? Um, B X O. B O X. Hey, hey! You wanna go go? Where's your nose? Where's your nose? Good job. And where are your eyes? Good job. And where's your ear? Ear? Good job. And where's your teeth? Good job. Can you say Stella? <laughs> okay. That was too many. Stella, la, 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 So, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. How do you feel? You 
excited? Are you sad? Are you I'm happy? happy. You're happy that you're not sleeping in your bed anymore? <laughs> or are you sad that you're not sleeping in your bed anymore? Because you're not going to be able to sleep there. Are you ready for Dad to build you a house bed? Yeah. You want a house bed or something different? Like something different. One like Stelly's? Like what? Bigger or what? <laughs> I want my dad. <laughs> like you guys haven't updated you, but tomorrow is moving day. Woohoo! We're packing it up. This is what the oh, girls' room well, looks like right the, now. Oh well, where's your tool? Not my fault. You didn't put it there. We started packing up the girls' room. John's gonna pull apart Stella's um, bed frame here. I all the blankets are in there. It looks like a mess, but we packed it up. This is all the girls' clothes. All right, guys, here's the update. This is what the girls' room is looking like. Packed here, another box here. Hello. Hello. How do you feel? Good. Good? Yeah. Up there, we have a bunch of boxes, and then we have their little height chart there. The toys, I looked through all of them, got rid of stuff we didn't need. Um, so yeah, that's what the room is looking like. Meanwhile, over here is still a very huge hot mess. Uh, we got boxes here. We got Jonathan's t-shirts to wrap glass in, but so far we've only used one t-shirt because we don't have a lot of glass. Um, yeah. What is that? I want fish. Fishing game? Uh, this is kitchen stuff, and right now I like deep cleaned the um, stove, the oven, um, so it's fresh and clean. And then the stuff for here is right here. I gotta wash those. Uh, washed all our containers for our seasonings. Leaving these behind. I actually got rid of the ones that were here. These are actually some containers that were brand new, so I'm just leaving them here. There's four in here, and I'm leaving those there. Can't even see anything! So I'm leaving these containers here, and then this is the little bag they were in. It was a 16-pack, so if they want to buy more, whoever buys this RV, they have the info. And yeah, I just put that there. And then um, we still have all this stuff right here. Ah. <sighs> We're getting hungry, so probably gonna have food soon. Oh snap! I turn around all of a sudden. That's empty. Jonathan's emptying out our pantry. Here's a fly swatter. Here they are fishing. Here's Stella eating. <laughs> Were you eating, Stella? Huh? Wow. Hello. Hmm. My sister sleeping. And here is the stuff behind our. I fixed it. <laughs> hey guys, I have not even picked up this camera since yesterday. Yesterday was moving day, and today has been a very long day. Um, the kitchen is somewhat fully unpacked. Um, and so I guess I should show you guys that, but the rest of this house is still a freaking hot mess. But yesterday we completely, completely moved out of the RV. Nothing that we own is in the RV anymore. The RV is completely empty from our belongings and ready to be purchased by whoever decides to purchase it. Um, it's currently still available. I am having people ask about it and I actually have somebody um, that wants to come see it so that should be happening soon but for now I've done the kitchen and I feel somewhat satisfied with at least having something done here and so here 
we have the sink i'm not about to wash these i'm so freaking tired but um yeah basically i haven't bought anything new really everything that is here was in the rv it just looks different because there's more space to it so all of that was already in the rv already in my coffee corner station so i mean that's just here now um the only new thing I have is this. My friend gave me this. It is super cute. It goes with my aesthetic, with like the wood. And um, I know <laughs> these are so janky, but none of my stuff is connected. Like my Cricut, like nothing is connected. So for now, I just wrote on them with these little um, stickers. And I will be making decals to make it look a lot better. But yeah, basically, I already had that, that. My friend gave me that. And then we already had these, but now that we live in a house, I can actually put them out. Um, before in the RV, we had these stored away so that they wouldn't be taking up counter space. But now since I have counter, they're there. Jonathan's lunchbox is here because he's going to work tomorrow and he has to take his lunch. But yeah, like everything is in the... where they're supposed to be go I guess I don't know um I had a I had a hard time trying to figure out where I wanted stuff it's just too much space and yeah um anyways clean dishes here we decided to put like our plates cups I can't reach those up there Jonathan put that up there I put that up there and yeah um, Jonathan actually connected the washer we have a washer dryer I don't even think I told you guys about the washer and dryer so here's a quick story time so I don't even think I I mean maybe we did talk about it but literally I feel like everything happened so fast from us Posting the RV for sale and deciding that we were going to move into a house. It all happened so fast. We weren't planning on buying like a washer, a dryer, everything that you need in a house when you move into a house. Basically, yes. No, go upstairs and get ready for a shower. <clears throat> That's fine. Go get ready. Like get your stuff. Um, so go upstairs. Stay up there. So we were not expecting, I mean, when we bought our RV, we literally got rid of everything that we own, like all the big stuff. Um, we kept obviously our clothes and like some stuff, but the RV was already furnished. So we literally sold our washer, our dryer, our sectional, um, our bed, like any furn big furniture we had, we got rid of. A lot of people that decide to live small, um, some, keep some of their stuff and some sell everything um i know I do, I do have friends that still have like storage units with some of their stuff we did not have a storage unit with any of our like big stuff so moving into a house we're gonna start fresh so another spouse posted a washer and dryer for a low price and i gave her an offer because we weren't planning on spending a lot of money on a washer or dryer anytime soon we were just gonna go to the laundromat if we had to or we were actually gonna get the washer dryer from the rv we we're gonna put it into the house that way we didn't have to go out or buy a washer or dryer if we had to so that was planned and then when i made the offer to the spouse um she ended up saying yes and so we set a date to go see the washer and dryer to make sure that we wanted to buy it and you guys that day that we were going to go look at them to decide whether we were going to buy them or not somebody posted their washer and dryer for free for free and like another spouse they were going to move out and they didn't have space for them so they literally were just going to get rid of them for free so i messaged her real quick and i was like hey girl can i have your washer and dryer and then going back to those messages with that same lady Jonathan had actually helped her move her washer and dryer into her house because they didn't have like a truck to um, transport them. So Jonathan helped them out and they actually paid Jonathan for helping them out um, transporting the washer and dryer. So you guys are pretty new because that only happened like about two months ago or so. 
so yeah i ended up still giving her some cash because i was like what the heck like free like what and they're pretty new so we are so blessed that we got that um so yeah we have a washer and dryer now and the washer dryer that was in the rv is still there and it's gonna stay there for whoever purchases the rv it's such a good washer and dryer it's a combo so literally it'll wash and right after it washes it continues and dries you don't have to click anything it does it all for you a lot of people say that it doesn't fully dry your clothes but for us never did we have like damp or wet clothes it was always super super dry so i don't know why people um put bad reviews because it was it's a really good washer dryer anyways so that is how we ended up with a washer and dryer and i'm so happy that we have them but basically i have stuff here we have stuff everywhere and i'm so tired so tired but our couch is there our couch <sighs> i'm so tired hey guys so it's been a couple of days since i've picked up the camera we've officially been in the house for a week and a day and i just keep randomly picking up the camera so i decided that i'm just gonna film this last little clip right now so i can show you guys my office because it's the place that's like 100 percent done in this entire house and i'm really excited about my office like so excited don't mind that that goes in stella's bed but jonathan had a lot of trouble on undoing it on knotting it it was like not at all over another wire so anyways i'm gonna show you guys my office because i'm so excited about it and i can finally open my shop because i finally have my office set and settled and i'm so happy i'm sure i'm gonna add to it but for now this is what i have and i'm so excited about it and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video i know that it was really spaced out but i decided to just put all the clips together and yeah, for a final finale of this video, let me show you guys my office. Alright guys, so this door right here is gonna be... Or this... This door right here leads to a closet. And this is actually gonna be my balloon closet. And like my backdrop stand and everything. Balloon, garland, arrangement stuff will be in this closet right here. And right next to that closet is my office. When you open my office door, ta-da! Oh my god! I could literally cry, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so this is what my office looks like. I am so excited to finally have an entire office. You guys have no idea how excited I am. So this is what it looks like. I am officially set and ready to begin taking orders. I am so shook still, so shocked. Um, yeah, I didn't think that we, I didn't expect to move out of the RV this year or like I, we didn't have a set date until when we were gonna move out of the RV. I really enjoyed RV living. I know it's not for everybody and a lot of people don't understand it at all. Um, but we absolutely loved it. Jonathan and I, when we first decided to get the RV, we already had Sophie. Sophie was like a year and a half, a year and seven months when we got the RV and decided to full time. The first thing that we said was that um, we would do it as long as we could as long as we wanted to um the only reason we'd probably move out of the rv would be if one of our kids which at the time it was only sophie if she decided that she didn't want to live in an rv anymore which i honestly thought would come a lot later like when she was i don't know like eight or something i don't know i didn't i didn't think it happened like this soon i guess and so we always said that whenever our kids decided they didn't want an rv anymore we would obviously look for a house or move out of the rv so yeah it all started with sophie um so we had a lot of friends at the rv party that we were at and then slowly um her friends like moved away and even though we'd still see each other it was not the same anymore and 
I think that really hit her and then going over to friends houses that had houses um, she started questioning like why we didn't have a house and so anyways she wanted to move out of the RV we made it happen and now she has a whole room she still shares it with her sister but um, they have a lot more space now and which is a lot more space for mess I am so happy and blessed that we are in this house but oh my gosh there's so much space and there's so much space like <laughs> oh my goodness yeah anyways I am so happy to have my own office for the first time ever I have a whole room just for my crafts just for my crafts anyways um I'm so happy and Jonathan if you guys don't know which I don't even think I've brought it up um, Jonathan is starting his woodworking business I'll leave his Instagram here or below somewhere because um, I love woodworks he is planning on selling for now I think he might just do local until he figures out shipping but he is starting his woodworking stuff which is perfect now that he has a full-size garage to work out of so it definitely benefited everybody in this family we just uh, i love my rv i love paradise she's up for sale and yeah um let me know what you guys want to see right now obviously we don't have a fully furnished house so i can't do like a house tour or anything like that um i we are going to probably do a lot of DIYs because that's our thing and we want a lot of our personal touches in this house um, even though it's a rental. Um, yeah, we want to build stuff. So if you guys have any um, recommendations, any suggestions of things that we should do, record or etc. Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.